Hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean this week. And I'll tell you what's cooking. I've had so many answers, so many questions flooding in asking for answers. So I'm trying my first call from Crystal. And her question is, how can I get my three-year-old to eat veggies? I know that's a problem that so many of you mothers and fathers have out there. So I'm going to share with Crystal, if I can get her, what what I can suggest to her. Because I've got... Hello? Lisa! Crystal! Yes? Yes, I'm calling Crystal. This is Paula Dean. How are you? How are you so? I, I'm doing well, thank you. <laughs> I I received a question from you, uh, and if you can't remember what it was, uh, your question okay. was, how can I get my three-year-old to eat veggies? <laughs> it's, it, listen, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, isn't it, Crystal? Oh, yes, it is. C because at that age, they're so picky. And they'll tell you because listen, I've got, I've got two three-year-olds, and they'll look at me and say, "I don't like it." And I said, "Well, when did you ever try it?" Come to find out, they'd never had it before, but they're automatically yeah. going to tell you they don't like it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, our our practice around our house, you know, please just taste it one time, and then if you really don't like it. You don't have to eat anymore. But uh, I, I have found that if you allow your children to help in the preparation of the food, that they're so proud, Crystal, that they have a bigger tendency to eat it. Oh, okay. Uh, is your three-year-old interested in helping in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. He's always telling me how he wants to sit on the counter and, and help me out. But, you know, dealing with Sometimes I just, I tell him, you know, it's better off if he just waits. I know, I know. But if you can let him do just a little something uh, without putting him in danger, and uh, a good way is always hiding your vegetables in casserole dishes. And, you know, you, okay. can, you can actually put them in the blender and blend them so that they can't see them. <laughs> oh, okay. That's <laughs> Yes, and at the grocery store, I keep these little packs in my refrigerator, uh, and I keep vegetable packs in there for, uh -huh. for my grandchildren. So I'll give them one of these because they still love sucking on stuff, and yeah. I'll give them one of those to supply them with their vegetables. Okay, okay. Or you could cook uh, some of your things in, like, V8 juice that have has uh, the medley of all the vegetables. Yeah. So you could try that, yeah, no, too. I got, I got a recipe uh, off your website for um, for chicken pot pie, and that's what I was going to make today. So I guess I'll just help him, or have Sam help me shred up some chicken and something. There you go. There you go. Let him stir in the green peas and uh, maybe the carrots and brag on him and say what a smart boy he is and how proud you uh, are of him that he's putting together his own meal that he's going to cook and eat. So, yeah, okay. you know, that works pretty good, honey. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Crystal, for listening. <laughs> no, I needed the advice. I needed it. Yeah, my three-year-old is very picky. I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain because we're dealing with the same thing in our little family. Well, good good luck to you, honey, and uh, I appreciate your question. No, thank you for answering it. I can't believe I'm actually speaking to you. <laughs> well, you are. And listen, get get back with me and let me know if any of those tricks work for you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank of you. Course I will. Thank you, Crystal. Best dishes right, and love to you. Day. You too. Thank Bye. you. Okay, well, this is a great time for us to take a little break and see what our sponsors got to say, and I'll be right back. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. 
So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling. Hello? I'm calling Sherry, y'all. Sherry? Yes, I am. This is Paula Dean calling you. Oh, my goodness. Really? <laughs> it really is. Oh, my goodness. I am calling to try to answer a question that you sent in. Okay. And how are you today? Oh, I'm just fine. Good. Do you remember? I'm very fine now that you're calling. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thank you for answering. Uh, do you remember the question you sent in? Mm, I forget what it was about. Well, I will, I will remind you, darling. Here it is. There are some of us who have pacemakers and cannot use the induction burners. Oh, yeah. Can you find a solution for us? I wanted to buy yours on Sunday, but could not. Uh, I guess that you saw me on Evine this weekend with my induction burner. Yes, I did. Is that right? Well, Sherry, I'm going to be totally honest with you, honey. I did not know that uh, if you had a pacemaker, there was any problem. I did not know that. Yeah, it uh, raises the uh, rate of the pulse maker up. You know, so that it uh-huh. increases. Uh-huh. Um, and so I, I had a pace, I mean, I had an induction burner, but then I saw yours and I'm going like, I couldn't use the one I had. And I'm going like, this is frustrating because the one that I have has not got, it doesn't have the nice pop on it, if, you know. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Could you possibly present that same question to your doctor? Uh, and and I will I will start trying to find, do a little research on it myself because I was totally unaware of that. Yeah, if there if, the, if maybe I was thinking if maybe there's something that like we could put like a bib type of a thing over us. Yes. That would protect mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. You no, know, and I was really thinking about that. What, yeah. What about? Like that. I don't that, know, that, honey. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything until I talk with my doctor. Yeah. And please get back with me, uh, Sherry, and let me know what that doctor says. Okay. Yeah, I do know that the pacemaker clinic did say they did tell me because I asked about the induction burner, and they did say that it does raise the pulse rate. Your pulse rate. Wow. And yeah, so if there's something, you know, like like I thought, you know, about the bib kind of a thing, uh-huh, maybe something uh-huh. that, that would pr- just protect that yeah. protection, maybe, yeah. you know, uh, so we're not in such close, you know, to Proximity the, uh, to it, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be checking on this, and uh, are you going to be going to your doctor soon for any kind of checkup? Oh, okay. Um, well, maybe you so could, I maybe... You... I went to the pacemaker clinic actually uh-huh. two weeks ago, too, and I discussed it with them, and they did say, well, it's going to raise your, you know, your pulse rate uh-huh. up. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I really would like to be using an induction burner, and I think okay. and I really like your, and I was really, like, frustrated because right. that's well, great for us. I, I you know, listen, they are wonderful. Uh, you know, the people that live in Europe, 
they are they're putting nothing but induction burners in their home in their home kitchens. I mean, uh-huh. it's the greatest source of heat that uh, uh-huh. I've ever seen. But uh, listen, you have really got my mind to ticking away. And I'm going to get in touch with my manufacturer, and I'm going to see if I can get to the bottom of this. So, Sherry, uh-huh. I sure do appreciate your question. You know, I've always said the longer I live, I learn something new every day of my life. Well, I'm sure there's many of us out there that would appreciate mm-hmm. this, you know. Well, I'm, I, I'm going to... Tr- even realize right. that. Right. They buy that, and they don't real, people don't realize. Right. And, and, and there's somebody around, you know, that, you know, in the family even has to stay away from that. Right. Well, I'm going to get with my manufacturer, and I'm going to see what we can do about it, Sherry. Oh, gosh. I, I sure do appreciate it, and God bless you. God bless you, honey. God you're bless you. so great, and, and everybody just loves you, and I'm crying, and I just oh. love you. Thank you, Sherry, and I love you back. Thank you, my darling. Thank you, my darling. And you have a blessed day, too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, with love. Okay, with love back. You know, uh, it's such an honor for me to talk, to be able to talk to my friends out there that I've never met. Um... Sometimes it gets very emotional for me to to talk with my friends, but it's such a blessing for me. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, I always love when I'm able to chat with y'all. So until next time, friends, I send you love and best dishes. The space that you live in really affects the way you feel. So my first recommendation is start by updating your window treatments with Smith & Noble. Smith & Noble's beautiful handcrafted blinds, drapes, shades, and shutters are custom made just for you, and they offer different service options to fit your needs. To get started today, contact Smith & Noble to get my special limited time offer, 25% off on your window treatments, plus free design consultation. Create a space that you're gonna love. For details about my special offer, go to smithandnoble.com slash Paula. That's smithandnoble.com slash Paula. Or call 1-800-659-3300. That's 1-800-659-3300.